Oh, these are the automated ones. Our Stu Mundell over the Port of Los Angeles, seeing something unfold many folks probably didn't know about. The port is going automated. Artificial intelligence and digital technology are moving and powering commerce here. These are drones. Containers are lowered onto trailers, and within seconds, those trucks drive off. They know where to turn, where to drive, and where to drop off their cargo. They even yield to each other when one crosses in front of the other, and there are no humans in sight. Four-wheel steering, these are cool. The old supply chain, so to speak, is no longer in place. Professor Nick Vias is the executive director with the Center for Global Supply Chain Management at USC. As futuristic as this may look, Professor Vias says we're way behind other countries. That's just a small subset of what the automation being adopted in the rest of the world. Professor Vias is referring to ports like this one, Rotterdam in the Netherlands, Europe's busiest port, and it's also one of the world's most technologically advanced. Rotterdam officials say they've created a platform that will allow autonomous shipping using sensors placed on quay walls, waterways, and even dolphins. As exciting as the technology is, the evolution of it also has the potential of being very painful. But the bigger picture, which people don't understand, is the uh the cost and effect. Mark Mendoza is the president of ILWU Local 13. He represents more than 8,000 longshoremen who work at the LA and Long Beach ports. Mendoza says automation could mean the end of hundreds or even thousands of jobs. If you go to a fully automated, it goes down, you say, the membership of 8,000, all these temporary casuals, we can go down to 800. These aren't $10 an hour jobs. These are jobs where it only takes one income to take care of your whole family. Mendoza says he wants to work with the companies using automation at the port to make sure his workers get the tech jobs associated with running, maintaining, and fixing the automated systems. And Mendoza knows the automation is part of the present and the future. What will happen to the jobs of today and what those jobs will look like in the future? And the answer is, really, we need to embrace this change that's coming because it